everybody, it's me again. Cause he started like, but anyway, we gonna, like I said, I ain't, it's just a little cheat check in the car, in the pair and pick up line. So, yeah, so that's what we gonna do. So, we gonna go ahead and just get started, you know, on get started. Uh, I'm that next year. This time I'm kinda early. It's like 1.13. I normally get out here about 1 20 at school. I know y'all probably tired of talking about that, but I'm, that's what I'm meeting right now. So well, you get a little thin on the arm. Oh yeah, this a weed. I don't know if y'all killing that, but it's a weed. I done got a lot of compliments on this her. But yeah, it's a lot of people that really used to stop me in the store and ask me, oh, I'm gonna my my happy jail like here. I'm like, thank you, baby, but you can get it too. You can get this thing a little from Amazon for $14 or I don't think we will. $14. I think I paid like $20 something for it. But, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. This time I ain't gonna make no meat. I'm, I'm, I wasn't making no meat. So I'm gonna do like me. Yeah. And yeah, it might be too much. It might be too much. I know my makeup been dirty. It ain't wet or nothing like that. Well, it'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah, that's a little funny. <laughs> Man came two lanes close to me and like the hit me. The budget man. Not budget. It be FedEx, but it be in budget troops. I think they only got a shortage on they got a shortage on drivers or trucks or something like that. It's just the everyday natural. Yeah, because you got on a fat ass hoodie. I'm modeling these folks. Man, trying to work. Man, they stupid. Man, trying to work. Man, trying to work. Man, trying to work. What is that? What has everybody been up to on these good? Monday. Y'all, I just decided to call these like Car Chronicles. Uh -huh. I feel like that's the best way to describe what I'm doing because I'm just putting on makeup and just talking to y'all and telling y'all what goes on at school and well, not what goes on at school, but what goes on in the parent pickup land. So, I guess it's like the same film. Let me call Car Chronicles. Oh, yeah. I would take out other when I go pick up my son or whatever, but I don't want my children to be on. The net like that. I don't, I don't do that. I want them to do that on their own. So you got better, really bad enough that you're looking at um. See, I don't. They be looking at YouTube and stuff like that. I don't mind my kids looking at YouTube and stuff like that. 
it just to the point where I don't be wanting to look at, you know, like crazy stuff. And my just like look at crazy stuff. Wow. They like look at crazy stuff, girl. And my oldest son, it's like he addicted. Like he can't stop looking at it. Like weird demonic stuff. So he on restriction. He can't get no table. <laughs> But nowadays, some kids think that, well, I can't even speak for nobody else. I only speak for mine. My kids think that um, looking at whatever they see on the tablet is like reality. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them do. My six-year-old don't. <laughs> he don't. He already know that ain't ever high real, but you know, the only reason why I let him kind of get his tablet or phone is because he was diagnosed with, you know, with autism. They say he, he artistic, but I don't know. I know he won't really hold a conversation like he'll tell you what he want, but he won't really, you know, like say, mommy, I want juice or you know, stuff like that. He'll come get you and he'll tell you juice or he'll come get you and tell you pizza, you know, stuff like that. He'll tell you what he want, but he won't say it in like a complete sentence. And he won't, he also, he won't hold no conversation with you or nothing like that. So that's what, um, we working on now. We went to go see somebody in like a behavior, behavior we went to a behavior health and, um, you know, like to kind of see what was what, but first they evaluate and see if that's what it was. And then, excuse me, and then after we did that, his doctor wanted to make sure that, you know, wanted to explore all the possibilities because she didn't want to just say it was straight out autism. She just wanted to know, you know, like, like maybe, you know, he got a hearing problem or Maybe he can't hear you, or maybe he got, you know, something wrong with his eyes, and, you know, stuff of that nature. Just to rule out everything, then to just blatantly say it's art, he, he's autistic. Because I know she was saying that a lot of parents, well, a lot of doctors are going ahead and just say that, um, you know, the child is autistic, they'll go ahead and recommend them, and then they'll try to put them on, you know, put them on medication. And she was saying all kids don't need medication if they're autistic. If that's the case, in his case, if that was the case. So she said she wanted to just rule out, just rule out everything, rule out all that just to make sure he um if that's what it really was. So yeah, that's what we did. So we had to go to the eye doctor, we had to go to our eye doctor, um our eye specialist, we had to go to a hearing specialist. Um I don't know what all we had to do. Oh and then we had to go to behavior health. So we had to do all all that in Know, combination just to see what was really you know going on with me. So when she find out it wasn't none of them, I still got tickets to the doctor. I just thought about it. So I got tickets to the doctor and see what she say on them. Lord bless. So, yeah. But other than that, he said he's real smart. He's a smart little, he's a smart dude. He's a smart little dude. Yeah, he's real smart. And he's like a loner. But they say like most people, most kids that are, most people that are artists, they like to kind of be like, be by themselves. But 
he'll interact with kids. Sometimes it just depends on how he's feeling. But if he ain't feeling that on that day, he don't want to be around nobody. Like, for instance, like Thanksgiving, he was, um, he would, you know, he liked to interact. He, he, how can I say this? He was all right, cause he went when he left and went when um, he left with my mom. So my mom took him, cause we all gathered at my sister house, cause we kind of do our own little things for Thanksgiving, and then we go with you know everybody in the family, like the the big family, and we'll go there and do something with them. So when he got to my sister house, my mom said, you know that he was all right, and so I came up, and then when I came up. He didn't want nobody to touch him. He didn't want nobody to try to talk to him. He didn't want, he didn't want to do nothing. So he got my hand and he stayed up under me. Because he didn't want nobody, you know, he didn't want to be bothering with nobody. So when I got him, he wanted to let me go. And I had to, like, kind of, like, take him, like, walking, you know, like, walking down the road or something like that. They kind of calm him down because he was like, I mean, he was like, all right, he didn't want to deal with nobody. So, after I had took him down the road and stuff like that, my sister tried to get him. So she wanted, because she was already outside. So she was like, hey, you want to come with me? So, like, see, it was a good night. Like, you know, like, hey, you want to come with me? And he was like, no. He didn't want to go. She kept getting his hand and like he had, like he had a phone. Cause we let them hold like a phone that we ain't don't use or nothing like that. So they have something to look at. Like they'll go on YouTube, or whatever. They can't call nobody or nothing like that. So they just go up there just to look at YouTube or in his case, he'll go on YouTube and he'll go on like the little, like notepad thing, note, and he'll get up there and he'll um kind of like he'll spell some words or use like the emoji. He'll use that. He'll do that. He'll use that and do that. Like when he look at that something like okay, say for instance he looking at something dealing with y'all get what I'm saying though. Like if he look at something dealing with fish he or uh, if it say like pucker fish, he'll go on the little note thing and he'll find like the fish emoji and then he'll spell out the word pucker fish. Pucker. Pucker fish. I ain't cook I'm saying. But uh yeah. So So yeah, I'm saying he's extremely smart. Like when he first started school, he'll walk down the hall. He used to walk down the hall and just read everything on the hall, in the hall. Like whatever they have on on the board, on their boards, he'll read it. Yeah, he real smart, but he been like that ever since he was real, like real young. But like he was like two or three, two or three, he was already right. Too. And then when he turned three, he was reading. He was like, he'll sign out words and he was already spelling. And he was reading. At three. Gotta do shoot. Well, yeah. So the kid real smart. I don't call him a kid, I call him a man. So the man real I call all my boys, I don't never call them kids. I always call all my boys men. And I always call my girls like ma'am. So that when they get older, so when they get older, if somebody try to come with their disrespect, say, uh uh, no, no, uh -uh, it's ma'am. Ma'am. I don't care how old you ma'am. So they try to call you ma'am, sir. That's 
that's how I own. That's what. But yeah, back my. But yeah, just own. Yeah, he's real smart. He's extremely smart. Cause his dad does like. Um. He does 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 construction, and so it's like. Like, like, take measures and stuff and like that around the house. Baby, you love him. He likes to take measures. He like anything dealing with, you know, like, using your hands. Now, he can build stuff. He likes to build stuff. Like, if it's some scrap, 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 scrap things that um, we ain't using like wood or something like that around the house. He'll, um, he'll get that and try to make something out of it. Yeah. He's that, he's that, he's that kid. <laughs> so we don't try to limit him on like certain stuff that he wants to do or Except if it's something dangerous or something like that, then we're like, no. Like, no, man, no. Then he'll kind of stop. And he knows not to walk I'm going to try to do some blush. But I ain't burning them. Since I got here early, it went 31. Coming up here and talking to y'all because I don't have nobody to talk to. And I knew, you know, some of y'all like, some of y'all probably feel the same way I feel. I don't know. I don't really hang around a lot of people. Like, I ain't really got a plethora of friends. Like, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't Top of that, the people that I you know used to hang with from high school, you know, they don't come around no more. You know, it's understandable. People act rude with one another. But it's like when I used to hang with people, well, when I used to hang with them, I always felt like I ain't, you know, like I didn't belong there. I ain't belong, you know, hanging out with them like this. I don't know because they make me. They just tell us, but someone. I don't know. Like, okay. I remember when I was young and, you know, I had a sleepover. But the only reason why they want to come to my sleepover, come, they want me to have a sleepover because one, um, one of my own um, friends. You know, like her parent, her mom and my mama knew each other real good. And her mama was my aunt's best friend. And her cousin, yeah, her cousin and my sister were best friends. So it's like our family always had a best friend within her family. So 
So yeah. But she snuck off and went with her dude. And then the girl, the other girl, my mama knew her mama because they used to work together. So she, they came over and then my other one friend, she was my cousin. And we find that out, she was my cousin. And um, so they used to come up, but well, anyway, they used to come up to my house, but the only time they really came to my house was so they can be with, you know, who they wanted to be with. Like they, they dudes or whatever. And it was two other people that supposed to be came, but one didn't want to come cause she told a lie the time I said I was doing the dude in the back seat. And that was a lie. Cause I had like, three other people in the back seat with me. So how am I do that when I had other folks in the back seat? I think that was just an excuse to leave, but it didn't really matter to me. But you didn't have to lie on me like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she didn't come, she left. And then the other one, she didn't even come at all. So I guess, um, I, I guess, so that made me feel like I was kind of beneath them. So when the ones that use me and stuff like that, just to, just to get out and go see their other partner, they, not their partner, but they man, or whatever. It's he, like they, no, they use me. And the only one that really stuck around with my cousin stay at home, girl. Ooh, I ain't even put nothing up on my door. Look at that British here. My girl. Like they just use me so they can do, you know, they thing with who they want to do their thing with. Which I ain't care. I ain't care. I like shit. What do you do? Know? Uh, if I was at your, if I was you doing it at your house, I probably would be the same thing. Cause I had me a little, a little boo thing too. I had me a little, had me a little white boy. Yeah, I had me a little white boy. Well, so yeah, so I feel like they just use me and really just do what they want to do. But the thing is, you know, we didn't really, I ain't really care, and then nobody else really care. You know, we were just having fun, you know, because. The way our parents was then, oh my God. Our parents was strict, strict, strict. I mean, we couldn't, if my mama didn't know who your mama was, you ain't going. And it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing with the other parent. If they didn't know your parent, then you wasn't going. Point blank and the people. <laughs> so, but yeah, so we used to have fun. I mean, one time, man, we was at, um, we was staying, they were staying, all staying at my house. They all came back and started staying at my house. So, we had went to Walmart and got these walkie talkies. And so, like, if whoever we, you know, whoever they were with, you know, We'll say, hey, your mama called it or whatever, and we'll just kind of cut the walkie talkie on and put the phone on the speakerphone and then let them talk like this. Man, we used to have that stuff so damn pipe. We had, you used to have fun back then, but I remember one time I had, I was going to white, but we're going to call him Benny. So I was talking to this boy named Benny, and um, I asked my mom, I was like, well, you know, can. Okay, I'm not going to the movies. And I was asking, I was like, can we, can I go? And she was like, well, who are all going? And I named all the people that were going. I was like, my friend Michelle, um, they ain't their real name. Michelle, Monique, um, um, Shirley, 
Yeah, sure. I said, and, and Benny, I said, I look going. And she said, no. <laughs> I said, what? She said, uh-uh. You ain't uh-uh. I said, ain't nobody going but us. She said, I'm going to let you go. But if that if Benny with you and I find out, we going to have a problem. I'm like, And then, um, I was like, okay. Then, they were like, they were like, girl, why you told your money bubble going? I'm like, I said it at nine. She said, they said, yeah, you said it at nine. I'm like, what well, name? I ain't no hating to say the man name. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just telling you. Yeah. We had them walk talkie, baby. We put them bad boys in juice. <laughs> Gay like they came on. I still ain't sharp in pimps, y'all. Too low. It's still fine. I ain't still ain't sharp in pimps. I'm gonna show up in it one day. Might be tomorrow. Might. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Uh, we used to have fun, though. But, yeah, but I still don't hang around them, because... It seemed like the one that I thought was really, I was really close to. Um, we don't call her Monique. The one out there I was really close to. We ain't, you know, I always, I, I've been trying, I had reached out to her like twice. And I let her know, I was like, well, you know, we shouldn't be, you know, we used to be cool or whatnot. So she was like, you still my best friend and all that. But, it's like, you know, you don't see no effort. Like, you the only one making an effort to try to get in touch with the person and talk to the person and da 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 da, da And you don't see it, you know, like, you feel like you don't see it, res, you know, reciprocated on the other end. Because you can see certain stuff and it's like, they got a better relationship with the people that did some, you know, to you. And then you be like, okay, then, so I know. Well, well, what is going? On. So it's just time for me to just just bike off and just you know let it be what it's gonna be. Cause people make time for who they want to make time for. I I learned that. I learned it the hard way, but I learned it. People make time for who they want to make time. So it ain't no thing. I ain't no bad blood between us or nothing like that. It's just like, okay, I see what is going. So it ain't no point for me to keep reaching out. It is what it is. Your memory, and I appreciate all the good times and stuff like that that we shared and we done had as friends. You know. Your pop still cool, you know. We it's all great. You know, if I see or I speak. But getting back to how it used to be, I don't, I don't know about that because it's been too much time and too much distance. 
and so and the thing about it was staying the same in the same city. <laughs> Shoot, a lot of us still stay in the same city except for like the girl that I said with my cousin and my homegirl. I think she's staying she's staying in Atlanta or somewhere like that. The other girl that lied on me. Uh, surely she stayed somewhere. I don't know. I don't keep up with these folks. So, yeah. Just a walk down memory lane and a lesson in the process. Don't stay to try to reach out to nobody that ain't trying to. You know, see where you coming from or whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about a little bit, a little bit of a lot of stuff. I'm talking about my son, how he's autistic. But we're trying to work through that. You know, we're going to get better. I feel like it's just a phase. Like, it's really not a phase. But I feel like like him communicating going to get way better. And that's the only thing that I'm really worried about. Because the kid bright. I mean, he's really smart. The only thing is he don't focus. It's like his mind going you know, so he don't focus. He really doesn't focus like that. But it's gonna get better. I know it's gonna get better. I don't know how this look because I can't really see because it's a glow. And yeah. Well, how do you do? Somebody hi. Somebody hi. Well, some life stories, baby. I got some. Like, one of the girls that I was cool with, one of the girls that I was cool with, got with my man. Red messages and all, but I'll tell y'all that on another day. So, this is really it, y'all. I'm just rambling. This is it, y'all. This is it. It's a little, the same little every day. Every time I done did this, it's the same. I just be looking soft. But, you know, y'all take it easy, baby. Take it easy, baby. And y'all have a great day. And like tell the Friday, stay. Even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else, okay? Alright y'all, that.